These are squabs, aka baby pigeons. They were born on February 25th, 2022 on our balcony in Gurugram, India. On the tip of their beaks, they each have an egg tooth, which help them crack their way out of their egg. Birds aren't the only animals that have these protrusions. Some species of snake, lizards, and even platypus are born with these. The ancestors of these pigeons would make their nest on cliff faces. Maybe that's why they feel at home on this 12th floor of a high-rise building. Urban pigeons don't seem to put much effort into making their nests. They may lay down a few twigs or just make themselves at home in a pot, like this pair did. Once a pigeon pair have chosen their nesting spot, they lay their eggs, often two eggs at once. It then takes a little over two weeks before these eggs are ready to hatch. The squabs are born with pink skin and tiny yellow feathers that look more like hairs. In their early days, they are fed by milk produced by their parents. Pigeons are one of the few bird species that can produce milk, and both parents are capable of producing it. So it's not only females that bear this responsibility. This milk is produced in a pigeon's crop, which is a section of the esophagus because they don't have mammary glands like mammals. From the moment they hatch, the squabs grow fast. Within a few days, their skin changes to a dark gray, black color and their eyes open. They're messy, leaving heaps of droppings on the balcony. They don't poop directly where they nest, they try to aim slightly away. Because they're not able to fly, they are an easy target. One afternoon, we notice there's only one squab in the nest. We see a kite fly by to pick up the remains of the second baby pigeon dropped nearby and conclude that the kite is the likely killer. A study in the 80s of urban pigeons found that breeding success was only 49%, but since these pigeons can reproduce up to five or six times a year at any time of year, this 49% breeding success doesn't pose a threat to the survival of the species. The surviving squab's feathers start to come in and soon it's entirely covered in feathers. The little yellow feathers it was born with continue to peek through, but those will be gone soon. We try not to disturb it as much as possible, but we do need to take care of our plants. And when we do, we see it stand up on its legs in an intimidating posture. As it gets bigger, it's also able to move around a little more independently. It takes shelter under the pots now, a little safer from nearby predators. Soon it's time for it to start testing its wings. It's a little unsteady at first, but it flies within the confines of the balcony just fine. In all, it takes about a month for this juvenile to leave the nest. That's when the cycle can begin again for the parents, and we come home to another pair of eggs on the balcony.